Hi there, Taurus. This is Carrie at Wooing Nature. Welcome to January. I am glad to be here. I am here to share with you your year ahead, starting with January and going all the way through de December of 2021. And then I'm also going to read from the I Ching because I want us to get an overall picture of what this year might be like. I'm sure everybody is anxious to find out what that is, um, especially since we've had such a challenging period this year um we just wanted some relief and i can understand that so i will be reading from klaus holiska's cards i also do yarrow and i also uh read with coins so if you would like to get an eaching reading with coins or with yarrow or with cards i'll be happy to do that for you but for the sake of time i will be using holiska's deck for the eaching so I'm looking for Taurus. I need an overall image, an overall picture, an overall theme for the year 2021. Just something for Taurus to consider and think about going forward. We we'll pull two cards from this deck. The first card represents uh, the main theme with the main focus. And then the second card that comes up is for the changing lines, which will give us some further detail. A little deeper look into what's happening with Taurus in 2020 all right so the card that the first card that came out is 43 for those of you that are numerologically inclined you will know where to go with that and then the passage itself the title is a breakthrough or a resolution so it says unfavorable forces unfavorable forces lose their influence and you can achieve a breakthrough but you must act resolutely and perhaps even uncompromisingly admit to your intentions and your aims fight hard but keep smiling you know how to do that Taurus violence and hatred are beneath you should you succumb to negative emotions those very forces which you are fighting against will take hold of you so be careful not to project your own mistakes onto other people your environment always holds the mirror up to your own behavior and it is absolutely certain that the fruit of your own actions will be reaped by you alone so looking at the changing lines here this one and three and six so one three and six are the lines that i'm going to read and you just get in where you fit in here line one says use the increase in strength to start a large and important task you will have great success and find general acclaim as you are pure in, in pure in intention honest in word and direct in action i think that's key pure in intention honest in word direct in action make sure you keep up with those three line three in times of increase even otherwise unfortunate influences can bring good okay so when it's increased it's increase if you find the right view of things you will recognize good fortune in the bad and again discover a kernel of truth in every untruth and then in line six it says you have neglected to increase the well-being of others your fortunes are fading, and if you continue like this, you will find you will find yourself. Your fortunes are fading, and if you continue like this, you will find yourself. Okay. Act with a sense of solidarity and sympathy. Help where you can find help where you can, and it is still possible to turn over a new leaf. So wherever it is that that resonates with you, just keep that in mind for the coming year and for January. All right, so I am going to be reading from the Sun and Moon Tarot for the rest of this time period. And what I'm going to do is look at the year of 2021, month by month. So we're looking at it month by month, starting with January. January is the Earth Renewal Moon. It's a time when the Earth is renewing itself. A time when you're renewing yourself, you're looking at your inner knowing, teachings, lessons, what you need to learn. You're starting off with fire, pure fire energy. This is energy that you have to work with for the course of the year. So you'll be working with fire energy starting in January. Your fire is your passion. Fire is things that ignite you. They're also creative ideas, concepts, new things 
all come in with fire. So you'll want to be thinking about that for January. Then coming up in February, you've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles is when you are comfortable with yourself and comfortable with your environment. You're comfortable with your surroundings and what's in it, okay? It is pinnacle, so we are talking about the material realm. So we are talking about being comfortable, physically comfortable with your space. And that physical comfort is not just material because you're dealing with the queen of, of pinnacles here. It's not just material. It's also spirit. Your, what, what feeds your spirit? What... Um, what feeds your spirit is what you're thinking about in February. So going into March, when the big winds come, this is a big winds moon. Winds always bring change. Or they clear your mind one or the other. Well, we've got movement. That's the chariot. That's coming in with the winds. So when the winds come in and the winds start blowing, that's the time for you to start making moves. So if you've been stagnant up until that point, March of next year is when it's time for you to start doing some things. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. All right. In during the budding trees moon of April is when you will be releasing, releasing, releasing and letting go. Um, and when I say releasing and letting go, what I mean is you're letting life take its course. You're letting the things of life come through and all you're doing is just not trying to attach to anything. You shouldn't be attaching to anything in April. It's all about letting go in April because in May, you're going to be starting over again. There's going to be a fresh start that happens in around the time of May. And then in June, there's a connection that's going to be made. So for those of you who are looking for love or I was getting ready saying looking for love in all the wrong places, but let's not do that. But those of you who are looking for love, June is the time. June is the time. June is the time when you can expect that. And when you get into June and July, you're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to be feeling your fire. You're going to be feeling your power. This goes back to things that were sparked and started in January. So once, if you do your homework in January, then come July, June into July is when you're going to start to see the results of that. You're going to feel yourself. You're going to feel power. This talks about creative pursuits as well. Things that bring you joy. And I see the joy in it. But with joy comes burdens that come along with it. That's going to come for you right in July going into August. Um, this is in the dead of summer. So uh, take it all in stride. Like what happens is you start to, you know, feel yourself and feel the essence of what you're doing. But here is where you realize what comes with it. Because everything that you want or desire comes with something that you don't want or you don't desire. There's the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is another queen energy. A lot of feminine energy here for you this year. They want you to focus on your feminine energy, your feminine power and your ability to manifest things from the spirit or from your own intuition or from your own ideas or your own imaginings. And then the Queen of Cups energy, they want you to focus on. That's going into the harvest moon, which is in um, August, late August into September. They're seeing this as a time of powerful self-reflection for you. Um, so that queen energy is, um, is feminine and it's also self-reflective in nature. But it's also owning the power of the feminine as well. Because right after that, in um, what is this, September, October you're starting to see things kind of fall into your lap in a very different way. You've been prepared for it by then. Things can't come until you get a chance to see everything. Sometimes we want things when we want them, but you can't get them until after you've seen the whole picture. And you're getting the whole picture between, what is this, between June and July into August, you're getting a really good picture. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles also coming up in the Freeze Up Moon. So does Aries. So maybe Aries and Taurus need to make some connections during um, the time of 
October into November. And then when the year fades out, let's see what the year, the end of the year brings for you. Significant transformation here with the death card. So we've got some we've got some transitions happening. We've got some changes happening, some significant changes uh, that you are preparing for in 2021. For some of you, you all are going to have a new relationship in 2021 around June, when the summer is going to be a summer festival, a summer romance for you. Um, but otherwise, you're also understanding your power. You're learning how to utilize the power of fire. Um, which is your ideas, your passions, the things that you that bring about uh, creativity, that spark creativity and spark life in you. And that through that experience, you're actually going to be making a transformation by the end of the year. A significant transformation is happening in your life um, at this time. All right, Taurus, so that is your reading for January uh, 2021. If you would like to take a deeper dive, you know where to find me. I am at wooingnature.life. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As always, I hope you have a great day. You have a great January, and you're having a wonderful life.